was worried somebody would use his jokes. That's what I I was worried he was going to explode. Look at him. Fucking <laughs> terrorist. All right, our next uh, roaster here. I said his name's Pierre, I don't know. His last name is. So. Next presenter, Mr. David. I don't know if any of you know this guy. David and I have something in common. Come on up, David. We both were, uh, we both served in the military. I served in the Marine Corps. And uh, David, you fought also. It was at North or South? North or South? Oh, Vietnam. Oh, oh, Vietnam. Uh, I probably shouldn't make a joke that this is going to end badly. Here you go. Whoa. How nice it is to be here. Now, I've only known him about a year. But I love that Viagra commercial. I was making some notes while I was there. Now, now he, he only takes a half a pill. That way he doesn't pee on his shoes in the morning. <laughs> True story. <laughs> he, he took, last time he took a whole one, he took it with his iron pill, and all he did was sit up all night and point north. <laughs> anyway, uh, how about that heat wave, man? I've been sweating like Vincent Van Gogh at Mike Tyson's house. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, I, when I first came here, I heard that Mark had a uh, machine that went from zero to 60 in less than one second. And, of course, I was thinking about that new Jaguar XF with the eight cylinder. I said, that's what it's got to be. I asked him about it, and he said he'd bring it in. So he brought it in. It was his bathroom scale. Oh. Uh, you, know, you know, it wasn't any ordinary bathroom scale. It was... Uh, it had talks to satellites, artificial intelligence, and talks to you and all that. He said, go ahead and try it out. So I got on it, and it said, one at a time, please. <laughs> one at a time. I got off it, and he said, watch this. He got on it, and the, and the scale said, get off, get off, holy mother of God, get off. I stole that from him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we both struggle with our weight. Uh, I looked up the five fattest people in the world. He was three of them. Oh. <laughs> we tried jogging and kept running into restaurants. <laughs> he heard that doing squats would help you lose fake weight really fast, so he started keeping his beer on the bottom shelf of the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm glad to see uh, his mom and dad here. He told me how supportive you guys were of him when he was young. He, he told me about when he was really little, he used to take him out in a boat past the pier and let him swim back. He, he said he didn't mind to swim so much, but getting untied and out of that bag of rocks was challenging. <laughs> And he's way too attached to that Mr. Whiskers fellow. Way too attached. I know that because when he asked me one time what I thought the appropriate age would be for him to tell Mr. Whiskers he was adopted. He took him to a theater once. And he was coming out of the movie. The popcorn girl was having some fun with him and said, did Mr. Whiskers like the movie? And he said, yeah, I, but I don't get it. He hated the book. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get that. <laughs> but Mark doesn't get memos. They say when you get older, you lose your cool. He didn't get the memo. They say everybody has shortcomings. He didn't get that memo either. And they say not everyone likes everyone. Well, he sure as hell didn't get that memo. So, uh, <laughs> When I first met Mark, I immediately liked him, and that quickly evolved into respect, and even quicker into admiration. So, uh, congratulations on well, jo a good job on raising that boy. Anyway, I'm proud to uh, work with him. Uh, you're not getting that back. <laughs> so glad to know you. Happy birthday, big guy. Oh. Okay. Ah, Two Irish midgets walk into a mini bar. <laughs> yes, yes, keep going. Go on, David, go on. I know you know the end of that story. Did you hear about the two Irish gays, William Fitzpatrick and Patrick Fitzwilliam? Oh. <laughs> 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 
right? We need it. Uh, All right. David Dennis. Well done, sir. Yeah. It's been racist for a hundred years now, I think. Yeah. Yeah,